What's going on, sports fans? Today, we're going to be jumping in the archives a little bit, covering a fight, a legendary fight, arguably the best fight of all time, with two warriors, Marvin Hagler versus Tommy Hearns. Let's get it right here on All Sorts. Let's go. April 15, 1985, the fight between the marvelous Marvin Hagler and Thomas the Hitman Hearns is considered one of the greatest physical battles in boxing history. Both at the time was champions. Hearns was a super welterweight champion of the world and Hagler was rightfully so the undisputed middleweight champion of the world. Thomas Hearns, his physical attributes did not fit the mainstream build of a normal fighter. This guy was 6'1", 6'2", had long reach advantage. And not only that, he fought at the welterweight class. Now the welterweight, you know, 5'9", 5'8", 5'9", is tall. But this guy reached up to 6 feet 1", 6 feet 2", and he fought at a 147 pound fighter. This is, a, this, is, this is what you call a unicorn. This guy, he gave guys all kind of problems because he had power. He was an orthodox fighter. And he kind of kept his lead hand down by his waist area. But the crazy thing about it, he was so tall, it didn't matter because his lead hand would be up around your chest and neck area. He would just, just pop that thing out and crack you with it, you know? And, and he was scary because of his right hand. His right hand was devastating. He used to knock people out all the time with that, 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 that powerful right hand. He was so long and he was so physically strong, he would demolish guys with it. You can ask Roberto Duran better than I can tell you. Oh, he's out, oh, he's out. out. He's out. He was out before he hit the canvas. At a minute 58, That's turns it. off the This could hurt. My boy Martin ain't be too good with him either. <laughs> now on the flip side, marvelous Marvin Hagler was no pushover either, man. And he was always saying that he never got enough credit for who he was and how he went about that. And rightfully so, because if anybody know boxing, just like me, I don't think Marvin got enough credit, man. This guy was an undisputed middleweight champion for a reason, man. This guy was, at the time, he was equally skilled with both hands. He can, he can switch from orthodox to southpaw, southpaw to orthodox like it was nothing. And he really did that in the ring. See, unlike Tommy Hearns, Tommy Hearns could have probably played in the NFL, probably made it to the NBA because he was that physically, you know, natured. But Marvelous Hagler, Marvelous Marvin Hagler, he was built for boxing, man. Like, he, he came out of the womb the most high. He created this dude to box. That's how he was. He was built for it, man. If you, it, it was analyzed, like, if you look at his head, his head had, like, these two big muscle pouches on the side of each of his head. Like, he had, like, a, a built-in helmet system. You know what I mean? He had a granite chin. He can take all kind of punches. Hag really tuned in of being a, a well-tuned oil boxer, man. He he did no drugs, no drink, no alcohol. He was just in just the best physical shape that he could ever. He he took it serious, man. His motor, his motor was relentless. If you when we watch this and we tune in, we're gonna see how his relentlessness, like he just he just came at you and nothing ever hurt him. You know, you couldn't hurt Hagler. He was 
he was made of iron. He was like the juggernaut, man. So I think out of regardless of his skill and you know his ability to switch styles, I think his greatest attribute was his durability, his strength and power. Let's take a look at what they said would be the greatest first round in all boxing history. Let's take a look. Fighting out of Brockton, Massachusetts. Weighing 159 and one quarter pounds. With a professional record of 60 wins, two defeats, two draws, and 50 KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, the undisputed middleweight champion of the world, marvelous Marvin Hagler. Pat, Pat, good eight. Let's go. So the two come okay, to mid range with Richard Steele. The instructions in the dress room. I'm just cautioning you now. Obey my command at all times. Shake hands. Good luck to both of you. Let's go. Very simple instructions. And finally, it's Hagler against Hearns. The camera's going to have to go. Eloquent simplicity by Richard Steele. Let's go. He knows they know. Staring at each other through the national anthem. The stare down, of course, so customary before these fights. And here we go. Round Let's one. Get it. Hagler, right off the bat, attempting to get inside. He like the thing about these Steven guys, man, the they knew a more aggressive start both by each of them right knew the that body. they were not going to last 12 rounds. This is how much respect they had for one another's power and, and, and physical ability. Let's look at him go. Look, right. Hearns got inside. Hit him with a right uppercut. Marvin ties him up. Marvin Hagler is still hurt. Like, I'm, I'm not going to be able to stand here with this guy, so I got to get him out early. Look at that. These guys are not even worrying about blocking. They're just worrying about trading off with each other. Haymakers, haymaker, haymaker. And look at Hagler. He's just head down. I'm coming for you. I'm not, I'm cutting the ring off. And Hernsey is just like, man, look, I'm just going to throw everything I can. Hearns moving. Hagler still pursuing. Comes in with a right. Missing with a left hook. Here's where I believe Hagler should turn to righty. He could block that right hand easier and he would land his own left hook. <laughs> Marvin Hagler said he wasn't really scared of Thomas Hearns' right hand. The hardest right hand he's ever been hit with was from his mother. Hagler still looking for the body. A right by Hagler. Good right got in. He has Hearns where he'd love to keep him on the ropes, but Tommy comes off easily. Another good right by Hearns. Hagler is now shaking those right hands off, though, Al. He was stung a little early, and he's normally a slow starter. He's also bleeding. Hagler is cut. Hagler is cut. Bridge of the nose. Hagler hitting him low. He is banging the body well. He is taking shots to the head. He blocks that right. Hearns tries to come in with the uppercut. And Hagler ties him up with a minute to go in a wild first round. Marvin with a good left hand. There's blood all over Marvin Hagler's face. Can't tell where it's coming from. I thought it started from the bridge of the nose originally. The blood all over the face of Hagler here in round one. That's but Hagler right. has him on the ropes. Hagler working on him. Hagler relentless, but Hearns trying to box his way out. Half a minute to go in round one. How far can this one go? That's very far in his face. This is where Hagler wants him, but Hearns counterpunching off those ropes fairly effectively. Tremendous first round. Hagler pinning him to the ropes. Working on him, but Hearns uppercutting again. Hagler bloody. A tremendous sensational first round as Hearns gets hurt. Hearns got stunned. Hagler was stunned early in the round. Great first round. Wow. Incredible. Perhaps one of the best in the middle. Ultimately, Marvin Hagler became victorious after the third round, man. He knocked out Thomas Hearns, and that was all she wrote, man. It just 
Hearns was 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 fatigued. He got hit with a couple of good shots, and Marvin Hagler just kept coming. He just kept coming. I think Hearns needed a break. He got hit with a couple of good shots, and it was just nothing left in Hearns' tank, man. You can see it. Um, I give my hat off to both of those guys, man. They knew what they was coming into. Uh, they was up for the challenge. It was a great uh, warrior fight. You know, one was going down a shield, man, regardless. You know what I mean? I don't think Hagler had it in his mind that uh, I'm going down today. Like, I'm, I trained for this. I'm finely tuned. This is my type of fight. Um, you can't hurt me. You can't knock me out. So, one of my favorite fights of all times, hand down. This fight will never get old. It will always stay in the archives and it will always go down as one of the greatest battle between champions boxing history let me know what you think in the comments leave some uh, likes subscribe and hit that like button thank you guys